All right, guys, we are going to begin our silent yin class in child's pose or extended child's pose. Uh, now I have all my equipment here. So if you need a blanket um, and or a cushion or something like that, press pause and go ahead and grab it. I also have my bolster um, that I like to use, but it's absolutely optional. If you don't have a bolster, don't worry about it. You can still make it work, all right? So let's bring our toes together, space between the knees, sink the, heel, the hips back. You can place the pillow underneath your uh, sit bones, between your sit bones and your heels if you like, or even underneath your feet. That would feel nice. I'm going to use my bolster today. Give the bolster a hug. Once you are in a comfortable position, go ahead and close the eyes. I'm going to start my timer for five minutes. And I'm not going to speak or encourage any mindfulness or anything like that. This is just your practice here to get lost in your thoughts or maybe practice your mindful breathing.
smooth and super slow motion gently just lifting the torso up if you have a bolster moving it over to the side and we'll transition into a rebound pose for about 60 seconds so I'm going to come onto my back you're more than welcome to slide onto your belly and have your hands stacked one on top of the other to rest your forehead I just like to have a nice easy little mini shavasana on my back. Wherever you are, close the eyes. Nice deep breaths in and out. Gently move yourself up so that you are in a comfortable seat or maybe sitting back on the heels. We're going to come into a nice shoulder stretch. So we're going to come up onto our knees. I'm going to take my pillow and just place it where my head might land just for some extra comfort, but you're more than welcome to place, and place the pillow underneath your knee. I'm going to have the knees about a hip width apart, backs of the feet pressing down into the mat and I'm going to keep my hips directly over top of my knees. Take my right arm, thread it through, let me just start the little timer, thread the arm through underneath the left arm and bring the shoulder and the right cheek down to your pillow or to the floor. Right palm stays facing upwards. Close the eyes and sink into five minutes of just being in this pose.
right, slowly, slowly, just begin to peel yourself up. And a nice little reset here could be child's pose, or you could do some cat cows just to reset and align the spine, if you like. And then without too much fuss and making sure that you've got padding under the knees if you need them, we're going to move on to the left side. So when you're ready, take an inhale, float the left arm up. And then as you exhale, thread it through underneath the right arm, bringing your left cheek down and your left shoulder. Left palm stays facing up.
Mindfully just pressing yourself back up and then maybe just sit back on the heels for a moment. Just let everything realign. If you like, you could take the hands behind the back and then just kind of draw the shoulder blades together. Press the chest forward. Get a nice stretch there. Big breath in and out. Maybe roll the shoulders. And just spend a few moments, close the eyes. Just taking some nice, easy, simple breaths. We're moving into dragon lunge now and from dragon lunge we're moving straight into pigeon. So we'll do the right side first and then we're going to do the left side. So once again, pillows are handy. Maybe place a pillow or a folded blanket underneath the left knee. Step the right foot forward. Inch it out towards the right edge of the mat. Palms are facing down. Have your block handy if you need it. Remember that you can shuffle the foot forward if you feel like you need to go a little bit deeper, but we are here for five minutes, so take it easy. And remember to back off at any time you need to. So close the eyes. Settle into stillness.
Okay, let's be extra gentle and move very slowly. We're coming into pigeon. If you know where you're going with pigeon, feel free to move there in your own time. We're going to just kind of walk the foot, the right foot over to the left, lay the shin down. If this isn't comfortable, I have an option for your back, so don't fret. Might remove my pillow. Extend the left leg nice and long. It's really important here that we keep the hips nice and even so we're not dropping over to the right or the left, so keep them lifted. <clears throat> Feel free to place a pillow underneath one side if it seems to be dropping and needs a little bit of height. And then when you're ready, and you can stay up here for a little bit if you like. Otherwise, we just tend to drop down so that we can rest the forearms down or you could even bring the torso right down. Now if this is not comfortable for you and you don't feel like you could be here for five minutes, then you're simply going to come onto your back and bring your right ankle onto your left knee and let the knee hang out sideways. Now if you'd like to intensify it, you lift the left foot up and bring the hands behind the left thigh. So that's your option if it's not comfortable or if you have knees that are a little bit sensitive. If you are comfortable on your front, then you're keeping the hips nice and even. Wherever you are, close the eyes. Perhaps rest the forehead down on a block or a cushion or folded blanket and just settle into some stillness, some silence.
very, very, very slowly, just begin to peel yourself up. We will come into a rebound after this set. So just tuck the toes under and then slide the right knee back and either come down onto your belly with stacked hands so that your forehead can rest or you can do it as I am and come onto your back. Doesn't matter which one you do, just whatever feels most comfortable for you. Let's just spend a few moments just letting the body integrate that 10 minute hold that we just did. Nice, easy breaths in and out. All right, gently press yourself up from your rebound and we'll do the left side of dragon and then pigeon pose. So I'm going to use my pillow underneath my right knee and step my left foot forward. Take it out to the left edge of the mat. And just carefully place yourself into position, remembering that you can go deeper by sliding the left foot forward. Make sure there's a line from, a nice straight line from the knee down to the ankle though. If you don't feel like going so deep, then don't worry about it, you don't have to. I'm using a block this time underneath my hands for a little bit of wrist support. But you can have the hands flat on the floor. You can make gorilla fists if you like to help support the wrist. Find something that feels good. Close the eyes. And settle in for your five minutes of quiet and stillness.
so so slowly we begin to shift the hips back a little bit <clears throat> so that we can shimmy the left foot over to the right side lay the shin down remember if you would prefer you can be on your back this time with your left ankle on your right thigh otherwise you're on your front and the hips stay nice and even you can come all the way down if you like you could hug your bolster if you'd like to i like to rest my forehead down on a block sometimes go a little bit lower to see what it feels like keep those shoulders nice and soft close the eyes settle in
super super slow transition into a rebound pose so either on your belly or on your back depending on what feels nice here and we'll just spend a few moments just breathing and letting the body realign reset integrate Breathing into all the spaces, all the sensations. So go ahead and come up into a comfortable seat. We're going to come into caterpillar pose now, so a yin style forward fold. Now I'm going to use a couple of props here, but you can make do at home. So first of all, a cushion underneath your bottom for extra comfort. And then I'm going to use my bolster because I have it handy to place underneath my knees. But if you don't have a bolster at home, you could roll up a nice thick blanket. You could use uh, pillows off the bed and pile them up to create a little bit of height. Uh, cushions off the couch. Uh, something else that you could do is uh, use sleeping bags that are kind of rolled up inside their covers. That's a, a nice height as well. Find something that you can, doesn't have to be as high or as big as this either, but just find something that you can have some nice softness through the knees. And then for caterpillar pose, we simply are just going to let the torso drape over the legs. I'm going to let my head be really, really heavy. My toes are just hanging out any way they want to as they relax. And I also like to have my palms facing upwards. Big breath in and out. Eyes closed. Just breathing into all the spaces.
Slowly, slowly, slowly. Bring the torso up. That's my favorite pose ever. And the slide, whatever it is that you have underneath the knees away. And come into a little rebound on your back. Move slowly, there's no rush to get anywhere. Big breaths in and out. So our last pose before we come into a beautiful five minute shavasana is called twisted roots and I have two different versions, basically it's a spinal twist. I have two different versions for you depending on how intense you would like it to be or how flexible you are through the lower half of the body and the spine, maybe the lower back if there's niggles there. The first version is to bring the soles of the feet to the floor and to have the feet about a hip width apart and you just very simply let the knees softly drop over towards the right. Now you could have your bolster under your knees or any pillows or a blanket for support if you like. Arms are just wherever is most comfortable so cactus might come wide, just anything that feels good. The second version is that we cross the left leg over the right and then we hook the left foot around the right calf. We extend the right leg long and then we draw the knees over towards the right. Let me just move my little mic box here so I can do it properly. So this is the other version. So you do whatever feels good for you. Do whatever feels like you could be there for five minutes. Once you've found your comfy posse, then just go ahead and close the eyes and enjoy five minutes of silence.
very mindfully and gently coming back up to center and reveling the legs if you've gone into twisted roots and then just bring the hips back to center let everything realign for a moment and then when you're ready let's go ahead and do the other side so if you are just letting the knees drop over to the left then do that if you are crossing the right leg over and hooking the foot around and then maybe lift the hips and shift the left hip under so that you can get a little bit more twist happening close the eyes settle the shoulders down breathe big
Right, take it easy as you move back to center to unravel the legs or just bring the feet back to the floor. Arms can come down alongside you and just land here for a moment before we move into Shavasana, just taking some nice deep breaths in and out. And then when you're ready, we'll move into a nice five minute Shavasana. So I'm going to use my bolster under my knees. If you have your bolster, you can use it. Otherwise, you might use your pillows or your cushions under your knees or have nothing. Doesn't matter if it doesn't feel good to have something under the knees. But for a nice long Shavasana, we want to be as comfortable as possible. So feel free to place a blanket over you as well if that feels nice. Arms are a little bit away from the torso. Maybe lift the chest and then place shoulder blades down.
begin to deepen your breath. Big inhales to the belly. Sighing the breath out. Maybe rotating the wrists, twinkling the toes, bring the arms up overhead, slow and lazy like. And go ahead and just gently move the bolster or blanket from underneath the knees. And then go ahead and turn onto your left side. And just lay here for a moment. No rush to get anywhere. One more big breath in and out. And then go ahead and gently press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Feel free to sit on any cushions or blocks you need. Eyes closed, sit up nice and tall, hands just relaxed in your lap. Bring your hands to heart center. And dip your chin down to your chest. After today's practice, I hope that you feel more spacious within the body and more peaceful within the mind. And if you were processing thoughts, then I hope that you learned something new about yourself. Bring your thumbs to your forehead to honor yourself today for your practice and beings everywhere. Namaste.